Here we are in section 3.1 with the answers to numbers 7 through 10. We're asked to fill out these tables right here and that's all. So on this one, we're saying, okay, when x is 5, stick it in for x, what is y? And we get 5 plus y equals 9. Subtract 5 from both sides and we get y equals 4. So 5 goes with 4. The next one. Um, negative 4 for x, so we put in negative 4 plus y equals 9, and we then add 4 to both sides and we get y equals 13. Next one. Now we're taking 3 and we're not sticking it in for x, we're sticking it in for the y value. So here we have x plus 3 equals 9. Subtract 3 from both sides and we get x equals 6. Good. That's that one right there. Here we're going to stick in 0 for y, so we have x plus 0 equals 9. That's just x equals 9. That was a nice one. I like 0. And then the very next one, let's do 7 in for y, so we get x plus 7 equals 9. That gives us x equals a 2, so we have 2, 7. So yeah, 5 plus 4 equals 9, negative 4 plus 13 equals 9, 6 plus 3 equals 9, 9 plus 0, and 2 plus 7. Good, number 8. Let's do this one right here. Now again, we're sticking in the 2 up there for the x. So we get 2 times 2 minus y equals 5. So that's 4 minus y equals 5. Subtract 4 from both sides. Minus y equals 1. So that means y equals a negative 1. Now let's stick in 0. If we stick in 0, we get 0 minus y equals 5. Well, 0 doesn't count there. That's nice, so just y equals a negative 5. Multiply or divide both sides by a negative 1, we get a negative 5. That's kind of a nice one. Yeah, when we stick up 0 up in there, it just kind of goes like this. Makes that whole thing 0 and is gone. That's kind of nice. N now we stick in a negative 1. Stick in negative 1 and we get 2 times a negative 1, that's negative 2, minus y equals 5. If we add 2, we get negative y equals 7, and then that's y equals a negative 7. Good. If we stick in 0 for y here, now again, we're sticking in for y, not for x this time, so we have 2x equals 5. That gives us x equals 5 halves. And then the last one, we stick in 4 for y, and we get 2x minus 4 equals 5. Add 4, we get 2x equals 9. Divide by 2, we get x equals 9 halves. You could punch that in your calculator and get like 4.5 if you want, something like that. <clears throat> Good. Number, t number 9. Now we're going to take this 1, and we're going to stick it right up there in for that x. And we have 5 times 1 plus 4y equals 9. Uh, now we can just solve this equation like normal. Subtract 5. 4y equals 4, that'll give you y equals 1. Ooh, the point 1, 1 works. Yeah, if you stick 1 there and 1 there, 5 plus 4 does in fact equal 9. On the second one, we're going to stick 0 in for x. Now if we stick 0 in for x, this is kind of a nice one because it's 5 times 0 is 0 plus 4y equals 9. See how that 0 just kind of wiped that guy out? That's a nice thing to have happen there. So we get divide both sides by 4, and we get y equals 9 fourths. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, you could punch that in your calculator to find out where that is. But let's keep going. Number, uh, the third one down, negative 3. So we stick in negative 3 for x, and we get negative 15 plus 4y equals 9. Add 15 to both sides, and we get 4y equals 24. Divide both sides by 4, and we get y equals 6. So 6 is the partner there. The next one down, uh, we're sticking 0 in for y this time. So when 0 goes in there, oh, it's kind of nice. It just, that's 0. We're just going to have 5x equals 9. Some of you might be able to start sticking this in in your head, and that's great. So it's 5x plus 0 equals 9, you just divide by 5 and you get x equals 9 fifths. Oh, that's pretty good. So almost 2 there. And then the last one, stick in a 5 for y. 
I better write this one all out. 5x plus 4 times 5 is 20 equals 9. Subtract 20 from both sides and we get 5x equals negative 11. If I divide both sides by that, I get x equals negative 11 fifths. Ooh. There we go, negative 11 fifths. And the last one, number 10. Oh, they've mixed it up a little bit. Now we're going to stick the 1 in for the y first. So we get x minus 7 equals 13. Well, we can solve that one, x equals 20. Adding 7 to both sides of that equation, and we get 20 right there. Now if we stick in 3 for the next time, uh, stick in 3 for y, and we get x minus 21 equals 13. Then we get uh, add 21 to both sides, and we get x equals a 34. That's good. Now we're going to take some and stick them in for x. So we're going to take that and stick it right up there for x and see what we get. 2 minus 7y equals 13. Uh, subtract 2 and we get negative 7y equals 11. Divide by negative 7 and we get y equals negative 11 sevenths. Kind of an odd looking number, but that's the one that works. If you stick 2 in for x and negative 11 sevenths in for there, you'll get it right on. Ooh, 0. I like sticking in 0. That's a nice one. Stick in 0 right now for x and that kind of goes away. So we just get negative 7y equals 13. Uh, divide by negative 7, divide by negative 7, and we get neg y equals negative 13 sevenths. Good. And then the last one, we're going to stick in negative 1 where the y is. So we have x plus 7 equals 13. So when we stick in the negative 1 in for y, negative 7 times negative 1 is a positive 7. So we get x equals, subtract 7, subtract 7, we get x equals 6. And there we have it. Good.